So which of the following are projectile motion? Now obviously these things are not just sitting on the ground uh, motionless, they are in flight as per their normal flight. So let's consider the first one, a rocket. Is a rocket projectile motion? Um, a rocket has uh, some sort of propulsion system and if that propulsion system is pushing the rocket through the air then that is no longer, that is not a projectile. So a rocket is not a projectile. Um, what about a brick? If a brick is uh, going traveling through the air there is no way that that has uh, some form of propulsion that is acting only under the influence of gravity. There is a force due to gravity acting on the mass of the brick and there is no nothing like the rocket that is propelling it. So the brick we would consider as a projectile. Um, a bird. A bird usually flies through the air. Um, so the bird has some form of propulsion um, that is opposing the force due to gravity and keeping it up in the air. So a bird is, is not projectile motion unless it is a dead bird that has had a heart attack in mid-air and is now um, no longer <laughs> under propulsion. So typically a bird flaps its wings, that is not a projectile. Um, a cannonball, once it has left uh, the cannon of one pirate ship and heading towards another perhaps, um, the, the cannonball, does that have any form of propulsion? No, so the cannonball is just a hunk of uh, lead or, or iron and it's flying through the air with the momentum that was initially given to it. There's no continual propulsion and it is acting uh, only under the influence of gravity once it has that initial horizontal velocity. So a cannonball is a projectile. Um, a bullet? Hmm, there's a good one. A bullet is basically just a small cannonball. Are there anything, is there anything making the bullet travel once it has left the gun or the rifle? Uh, don't think so, no. It's just a small piece of lead usually flying through the air under the influence of gravity. Now the only difference between a bullet and a cannonball is a bullet might travel faster and therefore will suffer more air resistance, but it is still a projectile because it has nothing pushing it along once it's under uh, in its usual typical motion. Um, and it's acting under the influence of gravity. So a bullet, yes, is projectile motion. A soccer ball, if you kick a soccer ball, um, once uh, it is in the air, it is no longer uh, having anything propelling it along, um, and it is acting under the influence of gravity as well. So a soccer ball is projectile motion. Um, other important things, we've, we've noted two very key important things here. They act under the influence of gravity. There's a force downwards on them, a uh, net force downwards um, due to gravity. There is no propulsion. That's really important. Propulse. Yeah. There's no propulsion. That's really important. Um, what about the path that it takes? The flight path has a shape something like this, which we would call a parabola parabolic path. A para uh, if you remember a parabola in uh, maths, let's just put this up here and out of the way, um, a parabola is um, a relationship of y, um, y is proportional to x squared and uh, on your, your x and y axes you'd usually see them um, in in this form that looks something like this, never mind that little blue squiggle there. But, um, the flight path of a, of a projectile has this inverted parabola, um, as you might be familiar with them. Um, and there's this squared relationship in there somewhere. If we look at gravity and the units for gravity, um, when we're looking at gravity as an acceleration, that is meters per second squared. Um, and that squared factor per second squared is our um, is the part that relates to the parabola. That's just something interesting to note. If you hold a skipping rope and you fix it at two ends and you let it hang, that force due to gravity or that acceleration due to gravity, depending on how you look at it, will cause that um, rope 
to hang in the parabolic arc in, in that sort of dip, which is really cool. Uh, what else is really important? An object that drops vertically straight downwards. It doesn't have a parabolic path, but you can still consider it to be a projectile. Um, it's a much simpler case because it has no horizontal velocity. There is no horizontal velocity um, like there is for uh, something that is uh, following the full parabolic path. Um, the horizontal velocity is constant. So um, the horizontal velocity, vh, is constant for, um, for projectile motion and following this parabolic path. So if you like, helps to think about it, your, um, your vertical motion, um, just down the bottom right here, your vertical motion, where something just drops straight down, um, that is the second half of um, a parabolic uh, uh, um, path, except this parabolic path has the horizontal constant velocity while it is falling through that vertical um, vertical section. So it helps to picture that in your mind in two separate parts.